Beaver rats have caused the destruction of many swamp ecosystems in the United States. Trees were destroyed, water sources were not circulated, and people's daily lives were in difficulty. Farmers and the U.S. government quickly deployed measures to quickly deal with the species. Join us to explore all countermeasures in this video. The beaver rat is a rodent native to Europe, introduced to the United States in the 19th century and has rapidly proliferated, causing many invasive environmental and economic impacts. This species has caused significant damage to the ecosystems and almost all agricultural products in Florida. Beaver rats often attack crops, damaging food supplies and disturbing the balance in the local ecosystem. In particular, they cause great damage to the grasslands, burrowing and destroying the structure of grasslands, causing significant impacts on livestock and agriculture. To control the proliferation of invasion of beaver rats, trapping methods have been developed and widely used. In this video, we're going to look at two important methods for catching beaver mice. Trapping beaver mice with cages and trapping beaver mice with wire underwater. The method of trapping beaver mice with cages is based on the principle that when beaver mice approach the bait inside the cage, they will get trapped inside. The advantage of this method is that it is highly effective in capturing beavers' rats and causes little harm to the species. However, it should be noted that the cage is large in size, making it difficult to move and deploy. The method of trapping beaver rats with steel wire underwater is a method of controlling beaver rats based on the principle that when they try to move through the trap area, they will become trapped in the underwater steel wire. The advantages of this method includes its low cost effectiveness and ease of implementation. compared to other methods, setting up and using steel wire beaver traps under soy sauce is economical and does not require any resources. Despite its advantages, this method also has limitations that needs to be considered. One of the important limitations is that the potential for injury to animals other than beaver rats when other animals, whether native or rare, pass through the trapping area, they can accidentally become trapped in the underwater wire and become injured. This requires careful attention and monitoring to ensure that the method does not negatively impact other wildlife species. Therefore, when applying the method of trapping beaver mice with steel wire underwater, it is necessary to have a technical management plan and regular monitoring model to ensure the safety and effectiveness of this method at the same time, while protecting other animals in the impact area.
Statistical data from the Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission shows that in 2022, American farmers used the beaver trap method with cages to catch more than 100,000 beaver mice. While the trap method of trapping beaver rats with steel wire underwater has resulted in the capture of more than 50,000 beaver rats. Choosing the appropriate trap and method will depend on the specific situation and goals of beaver control in the given environment, providing a better understanding of the effectiveness and weaknesses of each method is essential. Beaver rats also affect aquatic ecosystems that build dams and change water flows, causing floods and degeneration of aquatic ecosystems. This can cause significant damage to native aquatic plants and animals, including fish, birds, and aquatic mammals. Therefore, beaver rats aren't only a threat to the economy and ranged lands, but are also an important role for the biodiversity conservation and the ecosystem management in Florida. To minimize the impact of this species, it is necessary to implement appropriate control and management measures in the future. According to the estimates from Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission in 2022, American farmers conducted hunting activities to control the beaver population with more than 25,000 beaver rats captured. Beaver hunting has become a popular activity in Florida, especially in rural areas, to maintain ecological balance and protect marsh habitat. However, to conduct beaver mouse hunting activities effectively and safely, participants need to follow some specific principles and notes. Swamps are complex, dangerous habitats, and hunters need experience and skill to participate in this activity. They need to be fully equipped with life jackets to ensure safety when exposed to water, helmets to protect their heads, and goggles to protect their eyes from dangerous factors in the swamp environment. To increase the effectiveness of beaver mouse hunting, participants can use binoculars to observe the hunting area from afar and set traps and places where beaver mice often visit, such as trails, paths, and baited areas. Beaver rats are a common rodent, often appear in some areas and people's yards. In this situation, the method used to treat beaver rats involves capturing and then releasing them back into the wild. This is considered a humane treatment method for the species. By capturing and returning beaver rats to their natural environment, people have caused survival and ecological balance. demonstrating concern for protecting and preserving the environment while minimizing the encroachment of the species into human habitation areas. Although this approach can be considered a humane measure, managing and controlling beaver rat populations also requires an understanding of ecology and the effectiveness of specific measures. 
to ensure preserving the balance between this species and the natural environment, while ensuring safety and resilience for people and the agriculture. Although they are invasive species, but their population control is being done very well by people. Their meat is also one of the most popular foods. They're also contributing to the human food chain. What do you think about this species? Please leave your comments and thoughts down below in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching this video until here. And for now, let's continue watching the rest of the video, as the usual. Wild boars, powerful wild animals, are capable of causing a lot of damage to crops and people's property. Wild boar attacks on crop farms in the US are becoming increasingly serious, especially in recent years, when the number of wild boars in the United States is increasing rapidly. To cope with this situation, American farmers and hunters have applied many different measures. One of the most traditional and effective measures is hunting. The hunter's skill and knowledge of how to approach and handle wild boars has played an important role in controlling wild boar numbers and reducing damage caused to farms. However, faced with the rapid increase in wild boar numbers, more effective measures are needed. In addition to hunting, a new method has been applied in some areas in the United States, which is the use of aircraft to monitor and control wild boars. This is a challenging but potentially effective measure to reduce wild boar numbers and protect crop farms. The combination of traditional measures and a new method could help the United States deal with the growing problem of wild boar attacks on agricultural farms. The first step in wild boar hunting is to hire a suitable aircraft to carry out the task Hunters often choose between helicopters and propeller planes, each with its own advantages. Helicopters are a popular choice due to their ability to fly lower and more flexible. They help hunters easily access hunting areas and observe wild boars from a vantage point. This aircraft is often used in areas with complex terrain and requires flexibility during hunting. Propeller aircraft. They're faster and also capable of moving quickly between hunting areas. This helps hunters to quickly deal with wild boars moving or spotted in different locations. After renting a suitable plane, the hunter gets on the plane and flies to the hunting area. Before taking off, they thoroughly check safety equipment and hunting gear to make sure everything is working properly. When arriving at the hunting area, hunters use scopes to search for wild boars. Wild boars often gather in areas with lots of food and water, such as rice fields, corn fields, or forests with streams.
However, it is often easier to find wild boars in crop fields than in fairly open and dense forested areas. In rice fields, hunters have wider vision and can easily observe wild boars from afar. This is where wild boars often appear to search for food, such as corn seeds and other rice plants. When hunters notice a wild boar in the field, they can approach cautiously to shoot it. However, the most difficult situation for hunters is when they have to search for wild boars in dense forest areas or with more complex terrain. In these cases, wild boars may hide in the forest and use the terrain for cover and protection from hunting. Hunters will have to rely on their scope and observation skills to identify wild boar attacks and signs, such as tracks, feeding areas, or footprints. When a wild boar is detected, the hunter informs the pilot and together they fly to the wild boar's location. Then, the hunter uses a hunting gun to shoot down the target animal. Typically, wild boars are shot from the back of the head or the neck to ensure the kill is quick and effective. The average range of a helicopter when hunting is about 750 feet. That means the helicopter can hit targets 750 feet away. There are hunting devices that can shoot at a range of 1,000 feet so hunting can be done in many different ways with many skills. When the wild boar is down, the plane lands and the hunter harvests the wild boar. This may include cutting, packaging and transporting wild boars to processing areas or the market for sale. However, it should be noted that hunting wild boar by plane has its own advantages and disadvantages. Although this method allows hunters to access areas that are difficult to reach by road and can hunt many wild boars in a short time, it also has high costs and can be dangerous for people and other animals in the area. According to the U.S. Department of Agriculture, in 2023, hunters in the U.S. will hunt about one million boars. However, this data may vary by time and specific region. The U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service estimates that currently the number of feral swines in the United States is about 1.2 million. Wild boars attacks on crop farms are occurring in many areas of the United States, especially in the eastern and southern states. So since these solutions have been affecting and preventing the growth of colonies of some invasive species, do you believe in any other better solution? If so, please don't forget to share your comments and opinions down below Plus, don't forget to share, like, and subscribe to support our channel with our upcoming videos. And lastly, don't forget to share this video with all your friends so that they can watch it and enjoy it as well.